Good evening, everyone. I am Mrs. Owen, if we haven't met, kindergarten through sixth grade music teacher, but also um, I'm the sponsor for the seventh and eighth grade musical, which is something that I super enjoy doing. I love working with your kids. This year's show is school, like school. I know you can see that. I just gotta make that joke. Um, it's the life of a teenager, basically, a day in the life of a teenager at school. Um, a couple quick thank yous to Brad Getz and Luke Johnston, Maddie Peck, who have all been helping with tech back in the booth, lights and sound and all that stuff. I definitely could not do it without the three of them because I'd be running around with a chicken with my head cut off even more than I normally are on a normal day. <laughs> Tuesday, like two days ago, was the first day I had the entire cast together. And as you know, we've been practicing since Halloween. So, yep, <laughs> but these kids have put in a lot of time and a lot of effort, and I think you're gonna be so proud, I know you're gonna be so proud of their hard work up here. We've had a lot of fun. They're so excited to be up here with the, with the grown-up mics on their face and doing all, it's, it's just been a lot of fun. Um, and I hope to see all of them on stage when they're up in high school, the eighth graders especially, that's right around the corner, scary, right mom and dad? And uh, the, the high school musical is in the fall, actually. It's one of the very first things that happens. And there'll be signs all over the high school. And Mrs. Peck up there is awesome. And they're going to love to work with her, too. So hopefully they have the theater bug. And now they're going to stick with it and do all the plays up at high school, too. Um, at the very last song, the bows, and I put this in there, but definitely applaud throughout, even though music will be happening. Applaud, clapping, cheering for your for your kiddos up here. And um, at the end, when that's all done, the kids are gonna make their way out to the back, like a real play, like at the high school, and they're gonna be in a line all across the back of the auditorium. So you can make your way through and congratulate all of them and take pictures and all that good stuff. So we're gonna get started. This is school, and I know you're gonna love it, so let's get to it. Thank you. I'm up, I'm down, you're in, you're out Is it always like this? You love, you lose, you laugh, you cry Every day is a crisis Quiet in the classroom, drama and always Roller coaster up and down forever and always Do what you gotta do It's cool Guy, he's kind of cute, but to him I'm nobody. What will it take? What must I do to become a somebody? Quiet in the classroom, drama in the hallways. Looking for a way to fit forever and always. Do what you gotta do. It's cool. I make the rules, I play the game Are there any more questions? I'll make the cut, it's mine to claim I don't need your suggestions Quiet in the classroom, drama in the hallways Champions of win or lose forever and always Do what you gotta do It's cool Well, it looks 
looks like another Monday. Oh, oh man. I can't believe the weekend's already over. I'd spent all Sunday working on that essay for Mrs. Don't Smile Until Christmas, our language arts teacher. Only because you didn't do it in class. I finished it the day she gave it to us. Oh man, I forgot to do my homework. I'm sunk. There's too much homework, if you ask me. Yeah, this homework is off the hizzle, dog. You can say that again, I guess. I learned the stuff for the test, and then poof, it's gone. Hey, Kate, did you see my American Idol last night? I think they found the next William Hunk. It was really lame. Not me. I was busy securing my future doing research on colleges. <gasps> well, I'm going to make it on my talent and personality. Yeah. <laughs> yeah! Nice. Well, you don't need talent or personality for I want to be. What's that, man? A plumber. They make lots of money and get to wear their pants real low. Yeah, man, he got that pants thing down, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm going to be a pro athlete, probably basketball. I'll be just like LeBron. I'll cross the ball over and finish with Tomahawk over anyone. No one is stopping me. Yes. <laughs> You know, school's not that bad. It has a good part too, like seeing friends. And remember Mrs. Kasher's class when we enacted historical World War II water balloons? As it was, it was the best class I've ever had. I love how you guys have a reason to come to school. I need a passion. My passion is busting a chain off the hizzle for shizzle. What? Hey, Cease, how about your crush on Michael? Yeah, like that's ever gonna happen. Seriously, guys, I need a passion. Taylor has his music. Bryant has a team, Caitlin and Jean have their brains, Becky has, well, herself, Bobby and Jaime have their comedy, and all I have, all I've got, is us! Yeah, you guys are great and all. I know what you mean, Stace. We need a passion like... Couple of the year. Yeah, I want what they've got. Me too. I don't really care. Then again, we're only teenagers. I guess we have plenty of time to find our passions. Testing, testing, is it on? Okay, attention students, the no touch policy is still in effect. Anybody caught touching will be subject to detention. Thank you, that is all. You know, I just love being vice principal. I get to work this really fun PA system and tell the kids, oh, it's still on, I didn't know, I hope the kids did it. <laughs> wow, Mrs. Hawk should really become a computer technician. She can work in PA so well. I think Natalie really likes me. Dude, are you even listening to me? Besides, what do you know about love? You're only 13. Oh, I know if you ditched me when you started dating her. Oh. I did not! Besides, when you fall in love, then you'll understand. Man, from the looks of your locker, I hope I never fall in love. Not only is there moldy food in there, but it's right next to pictures of her. If that's real love, it's sick. Well, I hope we're together forever. Be careful what you wish for. <sighs> I think Will really loves me. Are you even listening to me? Uh, of course I was listening to you, but seriously, I think he really loves me. Like, oh my gosh, you don't know anything about love. I mean, how could you? Hello, you're only 13, but you sure didn't know how to hang out with him more than me. One day, Jen, you'll understand what I mean. You'll find love and you'll be in the same boat I am. You'll understand true love. <laughs> For me, he's never far away. He knows just what to say. To draw a river of empty tears, we're gonna make it through the teenage years. Take us all down that river of joy. Let's hear it for the girl. Let's hear it for the boy.
have to wait because pi r squared is calling. Can't wait. Ugh. Oh man, I hate algebra. I don't get it at all. Dude, algebra isn't all that bad. It's great for catching up on your daydreaming. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, I don't want to know what you daydream about. <laughs> I mean, what am I ever going to use this stuff? The only people that use math are like engineers, architects, and aliens. Well, you never know. He might want to be an engineer or an architect. We already guessed you were an alien. <laughs> the only thing Brian is good at is basketball. You don't need math for that. Sure you do. You know, free throws, two-pointers, three-pointers, it all adds up. Well, I think math is kind of interesting. Me as well. Come on, guys. Class is about to start. Hey, dogs, wait for me. What was that? An area equals pi r squared. She's going too fast. Does anyone know what the complement is? I don't get this math. That's equal to 90 degrees. I wonder what food the lunch lady will have. My brain's on the fritz. Why aren't these kids getting it? There must be someone in our midst. It seems perfectly clear to me. Who goes to class and doesn't cringe. Am I going too fast? When will this nightmare end? When will this nightmare end? Don't let it be macaroni and cheese Wish it was just my controller and me Clothes really hip and some shoes really cool Stacy thinks that I am a fool I wish that I was somewhere else Man, I feel like a slacker Why can't I get in here? Why 
you guys not love that stuff? It's the one thing in life that has an exact anthemite. Yeah, right. You're just weird. You are differently than the rest of us. Attention students, in addition to the no touch rule, the no cell phones rule is also in effect. And by no cell phones, I mean no cell phones, pagers, PDAs, MP3 players, MIDI list players, iPads, Walkmans, or laptop computers. Any musical or communicative devices found will be confiscated and the owner sentenced to detention. Thank you, that is all. Okay, I hit the green button, right? No, the red button? Oh, man, I hate technology. I see you rather here, old. Hoff is at it again. Mm -hmm. I know, I can't believe she won't let us use our phones at school. I mean, how does she expect us to stay unwired for so long? She should embrace technology, Mike. Seriously, if we can't use our electronics, then she shouldn't be able to use hers either. Not like she can anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I know, as soon as I get home, I'm getting online. I'm checking the team stats. Snoop Dogg's new albums. Fortnite. The only thing the internet is good for is research. Why would you guys want to put your whole lives on the line like that anyway? Don't you know it can be dangerous and that people It's all can't... about connecting to people, Kate. Don't get your tail feathers in a knot. Yeah, well, and I connect on Snapchat every night. What? Isn't being with him all day, five days a week enough for you? Like Taylor said, it's all about the connection. Attention students, immediately following lunch will be this year's Careers Day presentations in the multi-purpose room. Many parents are here to show us what kinds of jobs are out there in the world today. And I will personally be giving them a presentation on how to be an effective administrator. So be sure not to miss it. Thank you. That is all. Okay. I hit the red switch, right? No, the red button? Oh, okay. Well, old cough was great as a coach, but I'm not sure about her ability to administrate. I think she needs a little help with that PA. 
Maybe just a little. A good PA system can be a tricky thing, you guys. There are lots of knobs and switches, and believe me, it's no fun trying to hook up a reverse switch electrical input. What? what? You are absolutely right, Kate. When I tried rewiring my friend's amp, it was close to impossible. But you guys missed the most important part of her announcement. What? what? She said lunchtime. Yeah, the only class I can really sink my teeth into. Uh. <laughs> yeah, the only class that fills my hunger for knowledge. Uh. <laughs> I really relish this class. Help, I've created the monster. Oh, make it stop. Oh, fine, but I'm going to need all the patience I can muster to get through these puns. Come on, you guys. Let's eat. Michael, you're so sweet. Oh, uh, it's nothing. Hey, there's something I've been meaning to ask you, Stacy. Yeah? Uh, would you like to go to uh, grab some dessert? Um, sure. So what are you doing this Friday? I was just thinking. Oh, oh look, here comes Caitlin. Hey, Stacy, guess what? Daniel just asked me out to the dance. Can you believe it? I'm happy for her. Yeah. Uh, so would you, do you want to, suppose you want to uh, hypothetically, I mean, why, where am I going? Seriously. Come on, you guys. Let's start and set up with the career today stuff. You better not be late. Life is wasted on the youth.
and in conclusion. That is why a vice principal can be one of the most important people in your life. Thank you. Now moving on with the rest of the presentations. So, Becky, at some point in your life, you'll need to choose a career. What is it you think you'd like to do? I'm not that interested in careers. I'd rather just figure it out later. Really? You know choosing a career can be really fun. And there's a lot of great options for you out there. Yeah? Like what? Cashers. We all know that, Michael. Just kidding. Now, what seems to be the problem? Well, I, I, I don't get it. I don't understand, Michael. What are you trying to... Why can't I just ask Stacy out? Well, do you like her? No, of course I like her. I'm sorry. That was a stupid question. Then, what seems to be the problem? Well, it's just, uh, what if she doesn't like me back? What if she says no? What if? What if every great person took into consideration what if? Where would we be then? Uh, up a creek without a paddle? Well, sort of. Without great people like John of Arc, our founding fathers, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., and Eleanor Roosevelt, they're all people who accomplished great things by following their heart. So basically, Michael, kick aside the fear in charge. Thanks, Miss Cash, I'll you a million. Shucks, I could have told him that. Oh, hey, Stacy, sorry, basically, just ran into you. Hey, you know what? I have a question for you. Yeah? Well, it goes like this. I've been trying hoping to get myself up the courage to ask this girl out. She's so cool, I don't know if she even thinks me that way. I really like her, and what do you think I should do? Well, I guess you should ask her out. Okay, I take your advice. Stacy, would you like to go to the dance with me? Michael, I would love to. You would? You will? Man, I've never felt like this before. Neither have I. I never felt like this Suddenly I can't miss All the feelings here inside They cannot be denied Am I dreaming? Why did it take so long For something so good and strong I can't wait to move ahead To see just what we're at its beginning
But now I got my start and she's smiling Finally it's begun Gonna have so much fun Having someone next to me Is all I wanna see, no denying That I never felt like this Everybody. Hey, Chase! Man, we made it through one more day. Only 136,524 left to go. More like 113, but who's counting? Hey, you guys. Wow, what happened to you? I'm back to the old me. I don't think MTV fit me that well. Plus, baggy clothes and chains cost a lot, and I don't have that much money. I like the old me better anyway. That's cool. Nice. Sweet. Yeah. Bye. So, did anyone else find their passions today? I know I did. Also, Career Day gave me some great ideas of jobs I might want to have in the future. Me too. Hey, guys. Guess what? What? Natalie broke up with me. <gasps> Can you all believe it? I am so sorry, Mike. Did she at least tell you why? <laughs> Only that she likes someone else. Who? Brandon. Well, that was unexpected. I'll say. You know, I've decided that teenage life is... Difficult. Interesting. Unexpected. Fulfilling. Funny. Bogus. You know, it's not that bad. I don't see why you guys complain so much. Well, here's the real scoop. Complaints or not, we have plenty of chances to do it all over again. Yeah. 